So today I'm going to be working on this ring box. So this box I'm just going to uh, use for the rings. And I taped the top. It had a really pretty design. I think it was about a dollar at Michael's. And I just like the gold detail because gold is one of my colors. And um, if you do have a little one carrying your rings, you know, it's something easy for them to carry, something small. So I'm going to stain, I taped this off because I'm going to stain it uh, dark, the same that I've been using everything, this dark walnut, and then I'm going to stuff it with this fake, or actually real moss. Um, I found it in Michael's too, in the section where they have the mission stuff, where the kids need to do that for the school project. So, and then we'll need some gloves and obviously your rings and a paintbrush or a sponge, whatever you need. And um, I just use some painter's tape to cover this off, so because I want the design to be um, shown in a different color. What you could also do is uh, get these appliques and if you want to glue them on to the sides, but I just kind of want it simple and just keep it like this. So, I mean, if it it's it's big enough for the both both the rings or three of the rings, and so let's get started. Okay, so first step, just put on your gloves. And I'm just working on top of wax paper, but you could work on top of whatever is easier for you. Just dip, dip it down and stain it. So some wood absorbs the stain a lot darker than others. So my advice is just to start as light and then if you want it darker, you could easily just add more layers. So, because it's harder to take away the stain than to add it. So, just going around, make sure to get all the cracks. I'm hoping it doesn't soak onto the design in the middle. I'll show you guys in a bit. Once I'm done, get the sides and don't forget the inside as well. So make sure your windows are all open and or doors, or you could do this outside. So look how pretty it looks stained. And you could take that sticker off. Actually, let me take it off. Okay, so I took the sticker off. And I'm gonna do the bottom. The bottom doesn't really matter because nobody's gonna see it anyways. But just so you get some color under there. And you could definitely paint this a different color. It doesn't have to be stained. Um, the well, kind of the look that I'm going for is kind of like that rustic country um, since it is going to be at a ranch and a lot of my things are made out of wood. So just the natural color looks best for my theme, but you could paint it white or paint it gold or just whatever color that, you know, fits your wedding or you could leave it this color. It's totally up to you. So you want to let this dry maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour before you start handling it. If you're going to decorate it anymore, you could definitely um, put some rhinestones on it or, you know, kind of personalize it a little more to your liking. We're almost done. You can um, tape up this lock, but I just decided to go around it. It's not that big of a deal, and it's you could easily wipe it off on metal.
I think for me, I think one coat might be enough. I was soaking it really well and it's pretty dark. So make sure to open this up and get this little latch right here. We still got a lot left. So we just got to the inside now. Oops. So what I'm gonna do next is just tape this up so it doesn't soak through to the other side. And it, what helps too is that this brush is, can you, you can't see it there, you can see, is angled. So it helps and to get to the little cracks. So we're just gonna let this dry about 20, 30 minutes and we'll come back, take off the tape and add the moss in the rest. Oh, so a little bit did seep through. I'm hoping it didn't. See, I can't do anything with these nails. So, see just a little bit on the sides right there. So, we'll see how it looks on the other side. Oh, it did. Wah, wah. You see that? Boo. I'm guessing this wood might have been a little too thin and just seeped whatever little bit that was there. So, yeah, it looks really pretty though. When you are um, painting, I mean, usually I try to paint in the same direction, I mean, as in back and forth same. I don't like going like all over the place, if that makes any sense. It's a really pretty design. I mean, it'll probably dry a little lighter than the rest of it anyway, so it's okay. What I'm going to do next is just take a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and just clean up the little hinges just a little bit. Um, the way I just clean my brush with the stain is just with a lot, a lot of soap and water. And I just cleaned it out about two or three times. And it came out good. Keep cleaning it all up. Quickly just painted the stain the inside of it as well, so. We're gonna open this. It's called Scene Arama for School Projects um, and the Plants. So, I mean, and the back has instructions to glue it down, but we don't need to glue it down. And these last a uh, couple months of uh, green, and then they'll start drying out. But basically, um, I'm just going to use this as a sponge, or you could put whatever you want in here, but I'm going to use it to fill it up. And since my wedding is in next month, it will last. Okay. So it still, it still feels like a little fresh. So if you guys could see that, and I'll go focus on that. So yeah, it's like, looks like little trees and grass. So anyways, this is what I'm gonna use. Like that. And you just could place it however you want. Once you have it placed how you like it, um, his ring and my rings. And basically, you just stick them on top like this. And whatever works best. So you have your rings in the box. Like that. And then you just close it. And there you go. You have your little ring bear box. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and hopefully, you enjoyed this tutorial. Till next time, bye!